welcome to the UK's Jurassic Coast. And it's down there, in the world's third largest natural harbour, that Sunsig International have just produced their largest yacht to date. Sunseekers' main production facility is in the town of Poole, on the UK's southwest coast, an area of outstanding natural beauty. If you get the chance to walk along the Jurassic Cliffs nearby, you'll see how the location has inspired yachts with dependable engineering, excellent sea keeping and a great turn of speed. Sunseeker benefits from a deep water quayside in the port area and has access to acres of hard standing and several modern construction halls. In the largest of these, seen at the bottom left corner of this image, the company has spent the last two years building the new 47.5 metre 155 yacht. We were given a preview of this exciting new vessel machine yet completion, and our guide for the day was a hands-on expert in super yacht construction. My name's Phil Weeks, I'm a production manager on the 155 yacht. I've been with the company 19 years and done many super yachts for the company, starting from the 105 to the 37 metre to the 34 metre and then ultimately for the last two years onto this 155 yacht. Sunseek has always been a global leader in, in super yachts and our customers demanded bigger and better um, and we've finally been able to, to step over that 40 metre mark where we've been for quite a while um, into a, a proper super yacht. The company creates its entire range in hand laminated GRP, with the larger vessels, as typified by these 40 metre yacht moulds, using a much higher ratio of lightweight composite combined with traditional layup. A very high degree of customization is available, even to the basic shape of the superstructure, thanks to the inventive work of the Special Projects Division and the use of lightweight decor that gives a reassuringly solid result. The 155 has also been created with carbon reinforced composite, using a sectional mould similar to this one, and shipped in from specialists mould cam in Australia. Yeah, the boat came in sections, which was a, a new uh, concept for Sunseeker. Um, so each panel measured in at six metres by two and a half metres, and was subsequently bolted together uh, to form the, the main mould shell. But that gives us expansion in the future. If we decide to go bigger than the current 155 or 47 metres, we've got the potential to add sections into the mould, maybe to take it up to a 52 or a 54. The usual finish for a Sunseeker is a high quality gel coat that is polished to perfection, but the 155 has been fully painted instead. Uh, first boat that's ever been filled and fed and painted at Sunseeker in its entirety. Uh, we have a team of painters that have been with us from Mallorca uh, for 12 months now. I've never seen so much dust, so many people sanding, um, but we have to say that the, the painters done, have done a fantastic job. Sunseeker has always been at pains to maximise onboard comfort with plenty of strategic insulation. But the 155 has been taken a step further, particularly with noise suppression. Uh, noise has played a big part, in fact, in the whole build of the boat. The, the insulation of the boat, the sound insulation, the thermal insulation, uh, everything is decoupled, so no part of the cabin, whether it be the deck head, the bulkhead or the floor, is touching each other. It's all floating, ultimately reducing vibration and noise transfer. Uh, so we're really, really hoping for a very, very quiet boat. Unusually, the galley is on the lower deck, right next to the crew's quarters. The crew themselves have accommodation that is particularly easy to maintain, especially the ensuite facilities. A long time ago we developed the wet sail, uh, which is a, a pod with the toilet, the shower and the hand basin all in one. Um, and it stood the test of time, it's still with us today, some five years later. The rest of the crew areas is the very traditional laminate, cream laminate and teak. It's very hard wearing, it's very forgiving, and it's easily repairable. So it hasn't changed too much since the conception of the 37 meter. And in fact, this particular crew asked for this um, because they were so pleased with it on the first 37 meter they had. There are a number of firsts for the company with this build. 
such as the side opening garage at water level, which can take a pair of jet skis and a 6.8 metre rib. There's the futuristic but minimalist bridge, and the less damaging water mist fire suppression system. But everything else is traditionally Sunseeker, with a custom finish of the highest quality. So, how does Phil feel now that his pioneering project is nearing completion? It's a lot of satisfaction from the original meetings, looking at drawings, that seems a lifetime ago, and, and to actually, as you see behind me now, it's just what a fantastic product. It's, it's been well worth it. Um, it's surpassed all expectations, I think, in the finish of it, the quality of it, uh, and I think the, the public will be very, very pleased to see it when it materialises. Uh, in about two weeks time. And there she is. Sunseeker have rolled her out of the shed, they've put the last of the top hamper on and in a few days from now she'll be launched and then off into Pool Harbour for her sea trials. Uh, and we're about to start the next one again. So as soon as this one leaves the factory the whole process will start again. Um, hopefully a little bit quicker than two years on the next one but we'll see how we go.